Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. That is going to work, that's, that's much better, the slightly revised version of it. And we want to head down here and we want to start building the cactus farm. So the cactus farm is going to be in this area down here. We're going to need water underneath this cactus farm, but I'm not going to worry about where we put the water at the moment. I'm going to start off by putting this one right here, like this. Do you and... need me to grab anything? I don't think so. We're, sure? We're, yeah, we won't worry about the water at the moment. We will leave that and we'll come back and deal with water some other time. Well, I say some other time. That's going to be quite a bit later. We won't deal with the water at the moment. Okay. Um, I'm just going to set up a crafting table close to the build just here. Because there's quite a bit to do with making all of this one um, before I like start getting the, the water in place. Because the water's just going to get in the way of stuff. So I put the crafting table in there. I don't actually need the crafting table to make the acacia logs. But what I will do is I will dump a double chest down here for putting in the building materials. Um, so let me just go there and make them. And then drop that in that and i'll also drop the glass blocks in and that lever and the two leads that will do for a start and then i will turn those into planks and those into planks so there's a load of acacia planks that we've got down here sen already and and i bring this one out along like this so this is actually gonna be my cactus farm sort of a permanent cactus farm this is this is going to be the actual finished result cactus farm down here it could be prettier so i'm going to bring that one all the way out like that and i feel that acacia is a pretty good wood for a cactus farm considering that it's you know from the hot climate i know that i you know, know jungles are as well but we've got to have something with acacia we, we, we just have to. It's the rules. It's okay, because you can't see it from the house, can you? Uh, no, you can't. Right. I think we want to come out about this far. Something like this. Do you want me to do anything over there? Uh, right. Well, I want the entire floor of this cactus farm to be acacia wood. So we've got the acacia planks. Okay. So we just need to fill in this entire area now with acacia planks. Can I have some? A uh, chest over there. It should be a whole load of them. And then we can just fill in the entire floor with all of these. And then I'm going to do one line around the edge of more acacia planks like this. Look at this beautiful bright orange wood that we've got. I know that there are going to be plenty of people that don't like the idea of this, but too bad. I like The idea it. of what? Having the acacia. Oh, I'm not the only one. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't like acacia. But too bad. I'm making the executive call on this one. We're going to need a lot more, I think. Yep. Um, uh, where's the closest um, acacia trees? Well, I've got some planted, haven't I, up at the top. So uh, we'll go and get some from up there. We've 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 we have actually got quite a lot here, plus all the stuff that's in the chest. I'm thinking we may not need more than we've got right in here. Because but we're also going to need a whole load of fence posts, and those have got to be made out of acacia as well. Oops, I'll do that. Um, just so that everything is matching. Of course. It's all going to go along there like that. How come this one's so big? Because uh, this is basically going to be the final farm. I'm I'm going to keep it like this. It's, it's not going to go any um, any more than this. Uh, I but do how need... much cactus do you need? The idea with the cactus farm is that it will send the cactus over to a smelter. And then it will be smelted using the bamboo as the fuel. So the bamboo farm is going to need to be bigger than that. Um, because it does burn really quickly. But if we have a big bamboo farm later on, 
then we will get lots of bamboo coming out and that will be enough to keep the cactus all being smelted. I can't get in. Right, I'm going to actually use some blocks of sand here to do some of this building. So we need a block of sand and then we need a piece of acacia. I like picked this. up some dirt as well. I'm just going to put the blocks of sand down because we need to sort of mark out where all the cactus... That's actually perfect on that side. So let's just see if it's the right length. Um, and yeah, so each time a piece of cactus goes through a furnace and is smelted, it gets turned into green dye. Now, we don't actually need that green dye, but what we do want is the XP that it gives. And it gives a reasonable amount of XP. And if you've got a massive quantity of it going through like six furnaces, we can have a switch, not the system that I've got on the one like in front of the house. Um, that's a fairly rudimentary basic type thing that we don't need. Um, we will just literally put a switch that will go onto the hoppers coming out of the furnaces. And then we'll be able to turn off the hoppers. And a bit of cactus will go in and will stay in the furnace. And then we can harvest all of the XP from it. So it's essentially this big cactus farm becomes an XP farm. You don't have to have a load of mobs being killed for an XP farm if you've got a big enough cactus farm. I don't right. know how big a cactus farm we need to essentially get, a, you know, to, to supply us with a decent amount of XP. So we're going to start off with this kind of mid-sized creature and we will take it from here. I don't, I... I've, I'm out of planks and there's no more in the chest. Oh, aren't there? No. Right, well, I've actually got a couple of stacks right there that you can have. We are going to need more acacia. Because we're going to need to put one piece of acacia on top of every one of these blocks. And then we're going to remove all of the blocks of sand from underneath. The water is going to be a little bit more of a problem. We've got to make sure that the water is flowing. Like, I need flowing water over the entire floor underneath all of this. Once we've gone and built it all. Right. Um, so we're going to put all of these sand blocks down and we're going to put acacia blocks on top of them. And then once we've done that, we'll remove all of the sand. And then I think we will do the water. We'll do the water next. So I'm going to come down this side. And then after that, we'll start doing the other bits. So I'm, I'm really not sure of the best way to actually go about doing the construction work on these. Like, what's the, the best techniques to use? What's the best, um, well, any of it? Because I've, I've never really done it before. And Should I put any torches down on top? Uh, not at the moment, no. Because we're going to remove the sand blocks from underneath all of this. And we're going to put the sand blocks on top of these. So shall I go sleep instead? Yeah, you could do. Okay. Just take that one out there. Like that. Yeah, actually sleeping would probably be a good idea. Because I don't want a creeper coming along. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If we have a creeper turn up and uh, spoil the party here, we're going we're gonna to be in a, a spot of bother. Um, the good thing about the cactus farm, I mean, you used to be able to have cactus on top of vine. You used to better have sand on top of a vine. Uh, you just put a vine down and then the sand would stay on top of it. That doesn't work anymore. But we can do it like this, so we can actually go higher up with this one if we want to. We can take this up another layer without any problems at all. That's, that's not going to hinder us. But before I think about going up higher layers, I want to start working on the... Right, my diamond shovel is almost out. So I'm going to go through now. We're going to remove all of the sand. And then once we've done that, we need to start getting the water. So Sen, you are you on your way back? I'm here. Oh right, never mind then. Why say, what do you, you want? Uh, you could get a few buckets, and then we can like make an infinite water source. Oh, and I knew you'd want buckets. Well, I'm thinking that it might be an idea to get the water in place now, in case we have to make any adjustments to the underside. Because I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do the water collection. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of have to wait and see on that one. 
because we need to have the entire floor covered with moving water. Yep. Is I well either we got to have the entire floor covered with moving water so it pushes all the drops to uh, one location, or we've got to have a um, set of railway underneath all of this that goes uh, like uh, so it has a, a minecart with a hopper covering the entire zone, which I don't really want to do because that is a lot of metal to go and make all of those railways. Um, am I getting buckets or? Buckets filled with water. Uh, you want two of the buckets filled with water, and then I'd say bring as many buckets as you as you can find there. Uh, there, there are a few I've kicking around in chests. I've got five buckets altogether. Right, that, that'll probably be enough. Um, we we can work with that. We can always make a couple more if we really want to. Okay. Okay, so we've got this bit right here, like this. Now. The one thing I don't know about with the cactus, so you basically the way that the cactus works is you put the sand block on top of this one. It could be a half slab. It doesn't have to be one of these slabs. We could have done it with half slabs. Um, and then you have a cactus plant and you plonk it on top like that. And then it starts to grow. Once it does grow, because there's another bit that we're also going to need, and that is we want to put a fence post hanging down above it so we're not going to actually put the cactus plants in place yet i'm just showing you how this is going to work and i'm going to just bring that one over let me just put that one there and then i'm going to bring this one up so what i'm wondering is if i have that one there will the cactus plant grow and then break when it hits that block or not because the way that this actually works is you have a fence post hanging down there in between the two cactus plants. Because there'll be another one over there. And that will break it. So I don't know if a block above it will let it grow or stop it from growing. I don't know how that works. If it does let it grow, then we can stick another one up on top of that. You sound like Elsa. Let it grow. Mm-hmm. Okay, I didn't mean to fall all the way down there. What do you want with your water? I need to find out if that cactus plant is going to grow. They take Just... a long time to... I, I don't think you can bone meal them. Let's find out if we can bone meal cactus plants. I've got six bone meal here from the bones. Let's see. Apparently, you cannot bone meal cactus. You can just put torches you down. You just need to be patient. Right. Why don't you do the water source? Let's not worry about that for a minute then. Um, we will deal with the water source. I'll leave that one up there and we'll see if it does do anything. Because the only reason that I want to know is whether or not I can make this go any higher than this. Or if it's just got to be one level. I suspect it's going to end up just being one level. But we're, we'll see. So do an infinite water source down where you are, Sen. I don't know how to do that. Do you not want it that level so you don't have to keep jumping up? Uh, it'd be easier if it's down there. Um, an infinite water source, you just put a uh, digger hole uh, in the ground. Here. Oh, right, I'll do it then. I'll do it. Right. You can you, show me how to do it. Pay attention. Are you paying attention? This, this is really, really complicated stuff. Okay. Okay. I feel like you're mocking One, me. One, two, three, four. Like that. Yeah? All right, I think I can manage that. A block of water there. Yep. In that corner, and then the opposite corner, you put another one. Right, okay. And that's it. Yeah, but now you... Ha Look, I just gave you the chance to show off your skills. I know. Skills. Proper, proper skills, that was. So what I'm going to want with the water in here is I need all of the water... Like, all of these drops have got to be... I didn't want to fall off there. All of these drops have got to be pushed from one side of this thing to the other. Now, we can do this one of two ways. We can put a line of water blocks all the way along here. If I put one in that corner and I put one in that corner, it brings it up like that. That has a single block in the middle that then doesn't move, which is no good. We're not going to want that. So I'm going to go and get... Have you got any more buckets? Oh, you gave me yeah, five Yeah, I gave buckets. you Right. Lots. Let me just... Move a few of these items out a minute. Do you want to and... chuck me some of your other stuff? 
I just moved him out of the hot bar, that was all. Yeah. Right. I need to get rid of that dirt. Bucket it's really bugging me. Or did you put it there? Put what dirt where? This dirt up here on the tree. Uh, no, that was an Enderman. Oh, thank you, Enderman. Yeah, they're, they're like that. So if I put now a bucket down there, you basically, you just got to go along and you got to keep looking at where the water sources are going and where they're pushing. So we can have it going to there. And it sort of comes out to this point. We could dig down a, another layer on this platform and take this down a little bit lower. So if I was to put a bucket of water there, a bucket of water... Oops. Actually, we can just leave it like that. I'm going to put... See, if, if I was just go along here and just keep putting buckets of water in a line like this, we've essentially got the entire thing. And I can pick it up from here because that will then... like I've now turn this into an infinite water source up here. Which makes life nice and easy for me, doesn't it? Those cows sound very excited. Yeah. Are you running around with wheat or something? No. Oh. They're above me. Going crazy. Yeah, they do that from time to time. Okay, I need one more water source to go there. And now I've got this entire bit over this side completely done with water blocks. So we've got two options here we can keep this going if i was to go along and dig out all of that line and then dig forward by six blocks so it's all running down and we basically just have this whole thing running as a big long line of steps all the way down to here that's one option or we can have a really long line all the way this side and we can push it out that way and then we could potentially make this one even bigger which is what i'd actually like to do so all of what i've just done there is kind of a waste i'm gonna pick up all of these like this and you can see that this has turned into an infinite water source all uh, along this side so we don't actually need another one but if i now have 32 of these blocks and i put them down here like that. This will get rid of all of this water. Do you want me to do anything? Uh, we are going to want to dig out part of this floor and put it a step lower, which I should have thought of to start with, but I wasn't actually thinking about where the water would need to be placed in order to do this properly. So, um, start on this side and dig out all of the acacia. All of it? Not oh, I need an axe. Do you have a spare? Where's your axe? It broke ages ago. Oh. I don't have a spare, no. I've only got oh, the I'll one. I'll make one. Um, what you're going to need to do is dig... Right, so what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be seven over to there. If I dig that out along that way. If I dig one here, that will then put it down, and that comes all the way out to this side. So that's actually going to be perfect. So you can see where I've dug, Sen, when yeah. you do come back. Uh, you need to basically remove everything all the way back to there. Actually, I'll help you. If I remove this water right now, like that, this is going to be a lot easier if we both do this. Okay, so right from this line. How this far am I going? I'm digging the line all the way down. And we need to remove all of this. Then we need to remove the dirt that's underneath us. And then we need to put Acacia back down again. Sound simple? Yeah. It would right. have been easier to do this before. Yeah, well, I didn't actually think about where I was going to be putting the water. Hang on, are so... we doing the whole floor? No, this half of the floor. We, we need to do half the floor here. We'll remove all of the acacia that's on top. Then we're going to remove the layer of dirt. And then we're going to put the acacia back down again. So it's one block lower down. Which means that the water will flow from one side all the way over to there. And that's going to push all of the drops over that way. Yeah. Which can then be gathered up. So we may end up having to do something slightly different over there for the drops as well. So that we can gather all of those. Um, okay. But we will deal with that in a minute. Now, I've got my diamond shovel, which I actually need to go and repair now. I'm not going to do it, use it anymore. 
So I'm going to run back to the base. I'm going to sleep the night. And then I'm going to repair the diamond shovel before I come racing back again. How low can you let it go? Uh, I tend to let it go right down to the um, a small red spot on it. If I leave it more than that, I tend to forget about it and then break it. Um, I've got 10 XP levels, so I can repair this one. But... Is that all you need? 10? I've got 13. I'm just wondering if I should do mine. Is it red? Well, it's like a orange. Like oh, a... no, you, you you got a little while to go yet. My um, bar on it for wearing out is just a little, little tiny red square right in the bottom corner. Like th okay. There is almost nothing left on it. Okay. Uh, so you can run it down to that because the diamond shovel does last fairly well. But if I put that one in, it is actually going to cost me three, four diamonds to, and an enchantment cost of five to repair it all the way back up. There's four diamonds to do that, just to repair it on the anvil. But if I go up here instead, and I... Let's have a look in the chest here, because I'm sure we've got some sticks here somewhere. There must be... Apparently there are no sticks in the chest... Have I got any down here? I have sticks. Right, there is a stack. I didn't want to make more sticks because you know, I figured it would take too long. I'm just going to sleep a minute so that Sen's not That's working a good in the idea. dark. Then we will do it. So that was four diamonds to completely repair that shovel and 10 XP levels is what it would take all together. Right, that's full. Uh, five XP levels, sorry. That's four pretty diamonds. good, isn't it? Four diamonds. What, for a shovel? Yeah. Well, if I make me a brand new shovel with two sticks and one single solitary diamond. Yeah, but I mean, because of the enchantment. That because doesn't it's cost like a me really... anything. So what I do then is I put the broken shovel in first and then I put the brand new shovel in. That costs me three enchantment levels and it gives me a diamond shovel with the unbreaking and the efficiency one on it. So that's only one diamond and three enchantment levels. Yeah? Right. So, it's not always the best thing to just run a repair job. Quite often, it's actually better to make a new unenchanted item and then um, use that as the repair job. Right, okay. Right, it's been a little while since I actually did any recording in here, and... There's a couple of things have changed. We did a little bit more work over there. I'm just going to grab this bit of coal right here, just because. Uh, Sen, you've been a little bit busy. A little bit. Well, that's that's what you said. I mean, we, we've got steps going up there. Sen, Sen's done a couple of things to the area. So before we go back to working on our cactus farm, we're going to go and have a look at what Sen has done done um she she spent quite a, as most of you know i took a couple of weeks off to go and do a bit of driving of an excavator and sen has done a few things around about so we've we, we've got a, a a new pathway through here um, yeah i got fed up of having to run all the way around so i thought well we'll just sneak through uh um you left me alone for three weeks. I was bored, and I thought, oh, uh, I'll do something useful. This was like just a gentle sloping valley in the corner of a mountain when I last seen it. Yep. This is... <laughs> How long did the... Oh, it's our house. Look. <laughs> oh, this is... I, j I have not seen this before. All right, this, this is my first time looking at this. This is insane. It did what take a while. <laughs> what have you done? What's up here? Can I go up here? Yeah. This... Oh, this this is the, the the old chicken farm in there. And why is there? I've noticed uh, that there's random... Enderman. Yeah, yeah the, the, they... there's random blocks of grass everywhere. The Endermen have been getting a bit active lately. <laughs> this... What? Where did you go? What have you done out here? Where? Out the front, by Jacob the pig. There's, oh, there's more. That, yeah, I uh, found. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so cool! Look at what we've got. All, all of the stuff. 
I found Stop. an ocelot, but I'd spent ages trying to tame it and then couldn't work out why it wouldn't tame. And then it turns out you can't tame them anymore. You can't tame ocelots. Well, what are, how are you supposed to have cats? Cage them. What? So I think we're going to have to let him go. So we can't have anything. You, you just got to cage the cats now. You can't yeah. actually have you them You can tame. make them follow you by giving them, like offering them fish. Um, that just seems wrong. Yeah, I know. I want a cat. Oh, well, we'll, oh we'll... I did get something else, though. We'll leave him there for a minute. Uh, Let's go up here. This is insane. How long did this take you? How, you how were much gone nearly three weeks. Three weeks. Look in here, where my fish tank was going to be. Let's have a look. Ha <laughs> ha, we got parrots. We've got one each. Okay, which uh, one's mine? We need a jukebox. A jukebox? Mm -hmm. Well, your favourite colour is green, so you get the green one. Right, okay. Um, so, yeah, we need a jukebox. Because Jacob said if you put a jukebox near them and play a song, they start dancing. Okay, that's very cool. We, we got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you said you wanted to do stuff over there, so I cleared it. <laughs> How much stuff have you... <laughs> We, we, we've literally, like, as, as far as people have been concerned, like, as far as people are concerned, like, we, we, we've literally just been away for, like, you know, it jumps, like, ten seconds in, in, in the video clip, and, and suddenly the entire place has changed. Yeah, but now people don't have to watch you just do digging. What clearing. have you done to the river? What river? There wasn't a river here. Wasn't there? No. Oh, okay, I'll take that back. How did the vines stay there? I'm not sure. That's weird. I didn't know vines did that. Okay, we'll leave them Magic. there. That's cool. This is insane, Sen. This is the, 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 the only word for it. This is insane. Yeah, trader over there. Now you can do all the cool stuff without. Whoa, all whoa, the whoa, stuff. whoa, whoa! Stop, stop. Hold the phone. What? There's another layer on the house. Oh, yeah, I did that too. <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> there's, a, there's another layer on the house, a whole other layer. You've like you've like leveled mountains. You've removed layers of the house. What? This is Okay. And I went fishing. And you went fish you, you found time to go fishing as well. I I did. Okay, this, this as I said, this is insane. What's up here? The roof. And there's a ladder up to the llamas. Okay. This place looks a little bit different than when I left. Right, so now I'm expecting you to do lots of fun stuff. But we're, yeah, we're, we're cool doing stuff. fun stuff. We're, we're building a cactus farm. That's fun. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.